Medical science today doesn't want to rhyme with God's word in some areas. They say, well, it's maybe um, it's generic, it's maybe genetical. That's a lie of the devil. All these spirits of tearing, of cutting, of foaming in the mouth, of gnashing with the teeth and getting wild and going crazy, and of pining away, staying away from food, these are the signs, more signs of unclean spirits in people. And he pines away. And I say to your disciples, and they couldn't cast him out. And they couldn't do it. And Jesus said unto him, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring the boy to me. And they brought unto him that boy. And when he saw him straight away, the spirit tore at him. He fell on the ground and wallowed in foaming. Look at the descriptions. These are the descriptions of the unclean spirit inside of this boy that has permit. Unclean spirits are the spirits that cause torment. They are the spirits that cause fear. They are the spirits that, that cause people to gnash with, to go wild, to lose their temper. They are the spirits that make you lose your temper. You're of a vile temper. There is somebody watching me right now. And you gnash with your thief. It's a sign of hell. It's a sign of torment. God is delivering you right now by the word of God that I preach in the name of Jesus Christ. And so they brought him to Jesus Christ and they, he began to show up again and began to, you know, tear himself and, and caught and, 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 and foam in his mouth. And he was wallowing and foaming. And verse 21, and he asked his father, Jesus asked his father, how long since this has come on him? And the father says, since he was a child. Maybe this has come upon you since you were a child. We don't know where you got this from. We don't know exactly where this came from. But this day, liberation is coming your way. This day, the affliction ceases in the name of Jesus. I'm hearing the word of God say to me, affliction shall not arise the second time. It's happened before and it's coming over you again. I reject an affliction coming upon your life right now again in the name of Jesus. Affliction ceases right now by the word of God that I preach. This word of the glorious gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Look at verse 22. The father says, and oftentimes he will cast him into the fire. This is an unclean spirit. And into the waters, just to make sure he drowns. It's an unclean spirit. There is somebody watching me right now. You're a woman. And each time you're walking over a bridge, you feel like you, you, the water is, is drawing you. It's, it's blinking at you. It's blinking at you. You say, come, follow me, follow me. It's an unclean spirit. It's the same spirit that drags this guy into the fire. It's the same spirit that drags this guy into the water. That spirit is leaving you right now in the name of Jesus. And I suffer you, spirit, never to return again by the authority of the word of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. I guess my time is up right now, and I have to stop right now. And next week, by the grace of God, I am going to continue from where I stopped today. Let me just pray with you before we go. I'm out of time right now, and next week I will finish up this story. By the grace of God, I have taught you today uh, on your need to be able to uh, pray very early in the morning. I've also taught you today about the life of this young man that, that, that was brought to Jesus, that was foaming, that was gnashing you know, his teeth and, and was in pain and was cutting himself and was being thrown in water. And we have talked about today. And by the very special grace of God, next week I will continue from where I stopped today. Make sure you don't miss this story. God's healing virtues are coming on the airwaves by the special grace of God. And write me today. If God has healed you, some demons have left you by these words that I speak, I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to hear from you. Write me to Reverend Sammy at harvestways.org. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, I just want to ask you right now to open your heart to him and say these words of prayer with me right now as I pray. Bow down your head and let us honor God and pray together. Heavenly Father, say these words after me. Heavenly Father, come into my heart right now. Satan, get out. Devils, out. Holy Spirit, come in. Jesus, be the Lord of my life from now on and forevermore. Amen. If you pray that prayer, I also like to hear from you. I'll send you some free literature that will help you to grow. Write to Reverend Sammy at harvestways.org. 
And until the very next time I come here, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his glorious face to shine upon you and give you his peace now and forevermore and cause you more to triumph more than you can ask or think by the power of God at work in your life. In Jesus' name. Join me next time.